Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Beer Reviews. My name is Kenny. I'll be your uh, uh, connoisseur this evening. Uh, thank you to uh, Mr. Treat for this treat here. Um, this is a World Beer Tour beer. I don't know what that means exactly. This is a German Maybach, which I'm not a big Germany fan of beer. This is um, Carbon 4 Brewing. Germany. Uh, this was left in my cooler by Mr. Treat. I appreciate that for you uh, forgetting about it so I can do this review and give you a shout out in my beer review video. Um, I did have this at a, uh, a get together with him and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm thoroughly enjoying how much foam we're getting on this head here. Um, that's fine. I'm cool with it. Like, I'm trying to figure out more about this brewery, and I'm kind of shocked and confused. Um, uh, they have a phenomenal website. It's really, really cool. Um, and I don't know, I swear to God, I, I've done stuff by these guys before, because I swear I remember this fan Fantasy Factory beer. Um, Maybe I never actually did a review on it, because I think in a previous video I also was like, hey, this is that beer I was thinking of that one time. So maybe I actually never did a review on it. I've just only had it before. I don't remember. Uh, but here we go. I mean, you know, German beers, man. I think I don't know if that's where beer was invented or whatnot, but I know they have a damn fine lineage as far as beer goes. Like, it's pretty vast. And... Dated. So, yeah, I don't really honestly know about much, much about my box either, so this is going to be kind of an interesting uh, review for me because I'm just going to kind of off the cuff kind of sample it rather than just tell you like about the style of beer and whatnot because sadly I don't really know a lot about these songs. Probably should educate myself. 7.4% alcohol by volume, you guys. My. Gosh, that is epic. I love this little guy. He seems like he's just hanging out, traveling, seeing what's going on in the world. Um, but yeah, let's. I'm gonna wait for this to settle, so we're gonna drink straight out of the snout here. Can of soup, right? See, that's. It's delicious. It has a ton of flavor. Um. Dare I say, kind of malty, uh, kind of medium to heavier body. Um, caramely. Um, what else do we got? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say malty and caramely are kind of the two main flavors I'm picking up. Gosh, I hope I'm not wrong here. I'm hoping I'm not doing a disservice to the, uh, the Maybach name. But it is what it is. Like I said, I'm not well versed in these beers. I do not know them that well. But we have to go down a different road on this channel every once in a while with beer, don't we? Um, you guys, if you enjoy Maybach and you enjoy beer reviews, make sure you like, comment, consider subscribing, especially if you're new here. I do this every week. I know this channel was originally started, you know, started for like technology and whatnot, but it's kind of turned into a, uh, hey, what's Kenny doing these days type of video or a uh, channel. And yeah, as long as people are watching, hanging out, I'm going to still do it. It's fun for me. I hope it's fun for you. Um, gosh. So yeah, it's got this like, and I'm still recording this in the same day with as several live videos where it's 95 degrees out. So even even though and it rained a lot the past couple days, so it's like super humid. This glass is just sweaty as all hell. Sweaty balls. Yeah, it's got this really like malty, caramely kind of flavor. Um, it's got I don't know. I really am bad at this, but like I said, it's kind of medium to heavy. Like I don't think. 
At seven and a half, or seven, yeah, close to seven and a half, it's 7.4, so whatever. Um, I don't know. Maybe like seasoned German beer drinkers are gonna be like, hell yeah. I think this is absolutely delicious. Um, it's it's a little heavy for my taste buds, especially on a 95 minutes 95 degree Minnesota day. Like if this was like a nice fall day or something like that, I think this beer would be a lot more welcomed on this channel um, versus you know, sweating everything off kind of day, but it is it is what it is. I'm gonna enjoy it regardless. Uh, I, I am enjoying it. I think it's quite delicious. And I'm gonna keep drinking it for you guys. Here, my box, go back way long ago to well before YouTube existed. <laughs> um, crazy amount of history definitely something i need to read i got that book i gotta read about some of these beers but yeah this is kind of nuts and yeah i like i like the toasty peppery spicy kind of more like um yeah to, uh, profile of this beer it's it's definitely definitely that it's definitely different from your ipas where they're more hoppy and stuff like that this is definitely something that has um, just kind of more robust flavor profile than an IPA where it's more hoppy. Um, but I mean, this one has a nice balance of everything going on in it. And I think it's actually really delicious for my taste buds and my palate. Hopefully it is for you if you've had it before. Definitely let me know what you think about it. I don't see it on their website anymore, so maybe it's not available currently. Uh, this one says it's born on April. 20th so that's cool uh but mm -hmm. at the end of the day it's it's a damn fine drinking beer and yeah i would gladly have another one so thank you mr treat for uh sharing this one with me i appreciate you um you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me on another friday beer review i appreciate you dearly like, comment, consider subscribing, as I've already said, whatever. Uh, and I'll see you uh, next Friday for another beer review. Take it easy, guys. See ya.